problem. It was bad. So we all went and saw it on the news in the winter of 2015. My mother-in-law was also my pastor. She texted me. And I went, I went to her church. I was also at that time fighting for my marriage. You know who helped me fight for my marriage? Me. My niece. Oh. I buried my wife. December 23rd, 2021 in Clinton. She helped me. She's one of the few that helped you. Even after my head high wonder now, back by fellow woman when he went home to my hell and the kingdom of heaven, Hillary still helped me. I got those messages. I got those texts. They still helped me. They still form my heart. Proverbs 17, 3 says, Fire just appeared to of silver and gold, but the Lord, he tests the heart. When you give your heart to him, he is going to test you, and it, Carol. Yeah. Well, and when he tests you, when hard times come, you don't give up. You get stronger by his way, higher than all ways. You give him your weak flesh so he can lead you by the supreme Holy Spirit. It's simple. So remember that when hard times come, this is a hard time. So I get on my knees and say, Lord, Lord, did you hurt? Lena had to tell him. I heard what you said, but it didn't sink in. And when it sunk in, it really sunk in. My girls were wailing. And our hearts went out. And now, there's another funeral coming right around the corner. I, I'm not afraid to do a funeral. I've already done two of my best friends. But now, there is Eugene Stone Road. He's the next one. My father law will be ministering that funeral. And I don't know if my girls are here to sing. I'm not afraid to co-officiate, but I'm just going to give a little bit of word, and then I'm going to sit down. But you got to put a surrender. What's finding me down? For me, it was beer for 22 years. Sherry and I, we got an older brother named Tim Monocotchi. Our mom, Lois St. passed in 1981. I was 10 years old. It led me down the road of being a drunk for 22 years. Oh, I blamed it all on her death. Ain't no good. That's why that surrender came January 5th, 2008, when they was like, all right, Mr. Hunter, we got to put a prison over your head. What are you going to do? Instead of prison, I got two months of luck, and I got four months in Hobart, and I had to pay $10,000 in fines. Dang! I'm getting on my knees. That's a bunch. Of the Indian people, especially Cheyenne, I know how strong y'all are. Y'all are some of the strongest warriors in Oklahoma. It's hard for us to surrender. <coughs> Oh, I said, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to hell, ask you what's the problem. Let me tell these people what you did for me. I don't want drugs no more. I don't want alcohol. Lord, make my girlfriend my wife and help me to be a better dad than what I am to my girls. Help me to be straight, good-minded, and sober living. Help me, Lord. Give me something to do. And I'm here to the day my flesh is taken down. Here I am 15 years later, but it's not me, it's the Lord. So I come to give you a word of love. I come to give you a word of comfort. They shrink you. They comfort you. There's some of my color friends, my Comanche friends, and even some of my Cheyenne friends. They can't believe where I am. You really not done anything in 15 years? I backflip 10 times. But you get back on that saddle and you get ready for battle. You Cheyenne people, y'all are flat with your blood. Sure enough, we're yellow, we're grilling up it. We're a peacemaker, and blessing is a peacemaker. Definitely in the word. I'm going to come at you real quick, and I'm going to sit down. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable, and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth comes out. Love never gives up, never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures. Great circumstances. I understand why you take care of my son. When I put my watch on the ground, I went, oh my God, we have a little. I know, you know, when that giant will just touch your hair. It's not no deep tissue touch. You know, it's going to look great. I had long hair. Had for a long time. That's when I said, tell them, we don't have to cut our hair for a long time. That was my wife. That was my shiny I had to cut my hair, too. And it was crooked. Eric told me, 
How you say her name? Sister. Wait. Head <laughs> hog. What's the name? Magpie feather woman. When she went. I always call Mochebo to an A, but that's yeah, not what it's called. Man, I wish I had some butters, because it's all you know. She said, Uncle, now I know every time I've got to work. She said, Cheyenne, you can't cut your hair for two weeks. I said, ah, oh, he's up on the knob, they don't know where you can get. I said, you watch this Delaware boy. Go home to the Minchie country and watch my Delaware Cheyenne Kawasu daughter buzz it all off. Are you serious? Oh, sorry.